Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're once again back with the Gripen and we're going to be BVR fighting the F-15 Eagle. So essentially it's a Meteor Missile versus AMRAAM. Now I haven't done BVR in quite a while so I'm a little rusty. I'm hoping this goes well. Um, I'll be taking the Gripen today and we're going to be absolutely slinging those Meteors hoping for a kill. And as always remember these missiles are simply based on publicly available information about the two missiles. Uh, with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, guys, here we are in the Gripen. Uh, high altitude position here and we're going to be absolutely slinging meteor missiles at uh, an F-15. Um, that F-15 flown by my buddy Shotgun. He's going to try to put up a fight for us today and we're going to see just what the matchup is between the meteor missile and the AMRAAM. And again stick around for the TAC view because that's when we're really going to break down the tactics and also see the missile performance and all that other stuff. Now basically right now I am trying to get to a higher altitude and you know get fast I'm at Mach 1.7 right now I've worked very hard <laughs> to get to this speed at this altitude and uh, it's going to increase the range of my meteor missiles You will also notice that I'm turning my jammer on right now. And we got our F-15 off in the distance here, about 38,000 feet. And he's just inside of about 60 miles now, 53 to be exact. And we're gonna, he's not jamming. That's another thing. He's got me locked now. And we're at 47 miles Fox 3. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start defending because there's no point in staying in the thin air up here. It's just making us a target. Uh, he's definitely got a missile coming in at me, so just gotta wait for the pit bull. Um, we're gonna start diving, getting into the thicker air, and we're cranking off to the left here to the gimbal limit. You see we have him on the edge of our radar. Um, that's gonna increase the flight time of his missile and hopefully will bleed its energy and we just lost luck. He just blinked his jammer at me. He just went on and off on the jammer. Um, and that pretty much scraps that missile. So I'm gonna have to recommit here and we're gonna have to fire a home on jam meteor and hope that we can maybe hit him like that. And right now I'm cranking to the opposite direction, just being safe um, in case he has a missile coming in because he's an eagle and he's very capable of getting high and fast just like uh, I did at the beginning so any AMRAMs he fired are going to be pretty high PK AMRAMs so I gotta be careful and again if these tactics are new to you we're going to discuss them in the TAC view so stick around for that if you're new to the channel and you don't know these things. All right, so he has me locked again. I have him back on RWR, which tells me he's nose hot. I have the lock. So I'm gonna go turn in, put him on the nose here.
And Fox 3 for me. Okay, so once again, we're going to start reducing altitude. We got an incoming missile. That's a Pitbull Amram. We're just going to go ahead and dive here, try to defend. Once again, pushing them off to our gimbal limit. And we lost the tone, so we should be safe from his Amram. Alright, so we're closing in now, so things are going to get a little bit spicy, and we should have a uh, burn through on his jammer pretty soon. We got a missile coming in from the right side here. We're going to go ahead and crank more to the left and just be super careful with those AMRAMs. Okay, so we're safe from that missile. Defended that pretty well. And we're clean. We're going to go ahead and recommit. And try to find him again on radar here. We have once again the... Oh, we got another missile. Oh, this one's coming in from the front here. Oh, it just went to the left, so we're good. I think we narrowly dodged that one. That was probably a close one. Overgy, overgy, overgy. All right, F-15 off to our 12 here. Go ahead and put him off the nose. And we'll go ahead and lock him up. He's at about Angel's 20 here. And we'll try to climb just the same. Another missile. Oh, another missile. Okay, we're gonna defend here. We still don't have burn through. And I only have four Meteor Missiles, so I can't be wasting Overgy. these. Alright, recommitting once Overgy. again. Overgy. Okay, another missile from the right. He's really Overgy, tossing Overgy, those amorites. Overgy. Oh, that's a problematic one. Okay. Alright, we're gonna once again crank to the left. That one went behind Overgy, me. Overgy, Overgy. So we just dodged another amram there. He's just slinging amrams at me here. Lock him up here. Angel 16 looks like. Fox 3. Now that AMRAM I fired at him was uh, pretty close, uh, about 17 miles when I fired it I think. Uh, so that's a pretty dangerous Meteor missile headed for him right now. <laughs> and that's my third one so I have one left, um, hopefully that one smokes him. That would be real nice. We got another missile from him from the left, I'm just gonna continue in this trajectory and then we're going to crank to the opposite direction now and try to out crank that missile and that appears to have worked and let's see if we got him 
Still no. Looks like he's still defending. Looks like I see some smoke over here. Yeah, that looks like a crash site, unless somebody's having a really big barbecue over there. But I'm pretty sure that's an F-15 crash site, so that's one dead eagle. Alright guys, let's do a TACV review. I've gone ahead and sped this up to the actual engagement. Um, we got me firing one missile here, a meteor missile. We've already done the stats in the video. Pretty high altitude, pretty high speed. Obviously this is because objects in motion stay in motion. So the faster you can, you know, you can go the AMRAM or the meteor missile is going to come off your rail at that speed that you're traveling. So if you're slow, it's going to come off the rail slow. If you're super fast, it's going to come off fast and that's going to obviously extend its range. Um, the thinner air, this is why we climb uh, less friction or drag on the missile, um, therefore increasing its range as well. And so we have another, we have uh, the F-15 firing another missile here. The AMRAM is in the air. And once we fired our missile, we don't stay at the high altitude. Almost immediately we start diving. Uh, trying to get into the thicker air this will make it more difficult for his missile to um, hit us because it's going to have to fight the drag with the higher density air on the way down and also we're cranking which means that that missile is going to have to also turn and missiles have finite fuel so eventually it's going to run out of fuel and it's going to have to make this turn with its kinetic energy that it already has making this turn will bleed its energy uh, it'll bleed it at least more than traveling a straight line to hit us. So that is the purpose of the crank. Okay. Pretty simple physics so far. Um, yeah, so his missile is up in the air. It's already lost track. So that thing looks like it's going to the moon. Um, my meteor missile. So he, over here, he actually flashes his ECM so he doesn't have a uh, jammer on here which is where I think I fire the missile somewhere during this dive shotgun turns on his ECM um, and then drops a couple chaff as well right around here which essentially causes that meteor missile to go stupid as you can see it's got no track it's just flying straight so we both just wasted our first missiles um, I quickly come back to recommit onto the target, um, turning in now, and there's, uh, he also does the same thing, he fires two, and at this point the engagement has come a lot closer. Notice how we both climb a little bit before re-engaging, we're just trying to, uh, you know, get as much altitude as possible to uh, make sure our missiles are fired in the least dense air possible. Uh, he does the same thing here. And we have uh, a Mach 2.6 AMRAM in the air over here, We're traveling to about Mach 3. And then we have uh, me firing, and so he fires two because we are at 25 miles. One of these missiles was fired with home on jam, and then immediately he gets um, burned through on the ECM 
and he switches over to uh, a radar track AMRAM, which is why he fires two. Um, I also fire the meteor missile, which does appear to be tracking this time. And I immediately dive and um, however, notice that I, the difference here is that I stay aggressive. I stay nose hot pretty much. And he actually goes cold. Um, I have a bit of a standoff distance with the meteor missile. So because of my increased range, that F-15 is getting uh, pushed off and fairly defensive such that he's forced to go cold in order to avoid this missile hitting him. Um, I'm basically defeating his AMRAMs simply by being fast. Uh, being fast means that I make I travel more distance, especially when I'm cranking, and therefore I'm causing his missiles to do some extreme turns here. Um, so I'm fast and I'm cranking, and that seems to be enough to defeat the AMRAM, uh, where the F-15 is forced to go cold to survive my Meteor missiles. You can see those missiles were fired at approximately the same time. His is down to Mach 1.32, and my Meteor missile is still chasing him at Mach 3.2. Um, so pretty decent performance from the Meteor Missile so far. Um, I recommit here and narrowly escape getting hit by these things. I'm using the Art of UR to tell where they are, um, relative to my aircraft. Um, what's going on with Shotgun here? Looks like he's recommitted, uh, dodged that missile, that missile unable to hit him. And he quickly gets his altitude, a little bit of altitude, and lofts a AIM-120 at me. Um, I'm already, I just recommitted, I was defensive against those two missiles. And I was looking for him, he already went cold, I couldn't get him on radar, and then this missile starts raining down on me, so I have to defend once again. And I, you see this, this is a, a go cold attempt to recommit once again, the art of your tells me that missile's still there. Once again, trying to defend, once again, recommitting. And this time, I I took a bit of a chance here. You know, I was like, I'm pretty sure I beat it. And I did, but it was close. It was really close. It was about 2,000 feet away. So, And at this point, I decided, like, listen, I have to fire something at him. Or he's just going to keep raining these missiles down. This was very dangerous uh, for me because he almost had me fully defensive. And he could have just choked me out and uh, killed me. Also, he's got the altitude advantage, right? So he fires another missile, and I get one off as well. This is my third meteor. I've got one left, and this is the one that smokes him from behind. We got another MRAM here. That one's still coming in. I'm probably safe from it, honestly. It's already down to Mach 2. My missile is around Mach 2.7, so not too much faster than the MRAM, quite honestly. Um, here we are. So we did the crank um, once again. So once I fired at him, I cranked off to the right. So you can see the uh, the missile path here. And I've cranked off in this direction. That missile is obviously turned with me. Um, due to the reduced distance, I was like, I should just crank the opposite way just to be sure that that missile can't hit me. So I'm forcing the missile to do two turns instead of just one, which will bleed more of its energy. This can be dangerous in the closer, um, if you're close up to the guy, because the missile will have enough energy to make that turn. Uh, so you gotta be super careful with that one. Um, but basically, narrowly escape that missile. Super close. Uh, let's see how close. Ah, uh, where'd it go? There it is. Uh, about 920 feet on that one so super close on that one and then over here we have um, shotgun going for the notch that missile doesn't fall for it though and it's still coming at about Mach 1 and it's losing speed now a missile under Mach 1 quite honestly is almost dead it's almost a paperweight and shotgun gets unlucky here he recommits like one second too early and eats that meteor missile to the face. So, quite unfortunate there. Um, let's see, now this meteor missile, the performance here is a little bit interesting just because it's fired on a pretty much a cold target at 18 miles. 
13 miles. Like, and he goes cold for quite a while. And that meteor missile still hits him. Like, it's possible that one could say that this meteor missile at low altitude is performing a little bit um, too much. You know, it's it's got a little bit of a... I don't know, a performance that just seems a little bit grandiose, I guess you could say, at 20 miles hitting a cold target in the ass. Uh, granted, it barely got there, but, you know, it's asking a lot. Like, you would never fire an AMRAM at a low altitude like this um, on a cold target at 19 miles and get a hit. That just wouldn't happen. So, I'll leave that up to you to decide what you think about the, the performance of that Meteor Missile at the end here. Alright guys, that's going to be the video for today. Thank you for watching. Big thank you to Shotgun for helping out with this one. And I'll see you guys in the next. Bye guys.